Good morning, and welcome to Bowtie Life. This is Bowtie David, and I just wanted to talk a little bit, briefly, about planting some garlic. And really, this is my own log of what's happening in the garden, because I need to remember where I planted my elephant garlic and my chestnut red. This is a hardneck garlic. Uh, that we planted last year and we thoroughly loved. Let's talk about uh, what we're doing here, but uh, first this. Hi, I'm Bowtie Dave. So we're soaking these garlic heads. They've been in here for a little over an hour so far. By the time I get them planted, it's gonna be uh, several hours. Uh, I like to get these in, in here for about six hours. Uh, these came from Keen Garlic, and I bought Keen Garlic, Garlic last year and really was very impressed with the company. Uh, the elephant garlic here, elephant garlic isn't technically a garlic. It's close, more closely related to a leek or something, I can't remember, uh, but uh, it tastes like garlic. And so we treat it just like garlic. You'll notice these heads, these clothes are enormous. They're big, that's kind of the cool thing. We did enjoy our elephant garlic last year. The Chesnook Red, now we are in uh, Florida, Destin, Florida. Uh, typically you're not supposed to uh, use hardneck garlic this far south. But we had success with this last year. We had lots of scapes, more scapes than we needed. And um, we're gonna try it again this year, about the same amount uh, as last year. And uh, this year I'm trying to do, I'm going to try to do a little better. This is uh, two um, fertilizers that come, well, it's a fertilizer in life uh, that comes from Keen Garlic. Uh, this bioactive vegetable supercharger uh, it's from Purple Cow, and this is all from Keen Garlic. No sponsorship or anything. It's just the people we've tried, uh, that we've bought from. But, uh, um, yeah, so this bioactive supercharger is the carbon and the nutrients. Uh, this CX-1 Life in a Bottle is just that. Is the fellow that I watched on uh, YouTube that described this, he says, this is the nutrients, this is the life, the microbiome, the the... The, the little things that uh, go in the soil and make it good. Uh, one other thing that we're going to be using as we plant these here in a little bit is bone meal. Now bone meal is potassium. You'll notice the NPK and you can watch other videos of mine on the NPK, the 217 0, um, the 2% nitrogen, 17% um, phosphorus, 0% um, potassium. We want root development. That middle number, remember, it's roots, uh, shoots, roots, and fruits. Uh, with the middle number is roots, and we want these garlic to shoot roots right now. It is the middle of December, and we want this thing to start doing some roots, which is why we're doing these particular uh, nutrients soaking and getting them in this uh, uh, this high nutrient soak so it can start its root development. So let's go and, uh, well, actually, let's wait. <laughs> the next segment of this is going to be recorded this afternoon. I've got a couple of beds uh, cleaned out that I want to plant uh, these in. So here we are in the uh, um, bed where I'm going to plant some garlic. And uh, I did put some, um, what did I put in here? I think I put cauliflower got a tag right here uh, yes no Brussels sprouts okay so it's Brussels sprouts I thought it was cauliflower um, but my cauliflower is getting eaten off and so um, I got an empty spot here in fact here let me just show you I've got a bit of an empty spot here that I'm going to put our garlic bulbs they've been soaking for about six hours and in the uh, nutrient mix, uh, I also have the uh, the bone meal here. Now, you'll notice that we have a couple of things here that I'm pretty sure is last year's um, 
elephant garlic. And I think they grew all summer and I just kind of let them be. Uh, so I'm, I'm just letting them be uh, and uh, we're kind of going from there. But basically this area right here, uh, I've got some space that I'm going to grow this garlic in. Now, I don't know that these Brussels sprouts are going to make it. You can see that one over there. Everything's getting trimmed off. All the leaves are getting bitten off of it. Uh, same thing with that one over there. There's one right here just out of camera view that looks even worse. And another one down, down right here that st I, I, I don't know. If it grows something, it grows something. Whatever. Um, I'm, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm a little miffed about that right now. Uh, but I don't see any pests. The leaves are just bitten off. Um, they don't even appear to be eaten. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, garlic I know will get rid of some of those pests and um, can help with this. And so I'm hoping that maybe this... Uh, um, why can't I think? The elephant garlic will actually help with the pests a little bit. Uh, these here, uh, I actually dug down on this one down to the bottom to see if it was bulbing up at all. It is not. It just goes down the stem and then it goes in the roots. That's all it does. And so I don't know uh, what to say about it. But uh, I'm just putting the, I'm spreading these around here um, kind of willy-nilly, I, I know. Uh, there's a flat side on the bottom of these clothes, and then there's a top, a pointy side, and always point up. And so uh, that's how you do your garlic. That's how you do your elephant garlic. Elephant garlic isn't technically a garlic from what I understand, uh, but this soil is kind of fluffy. I'm going to leave these things. They, they look kind of rough. I'm going to leave them. Uh, spread these things around. They're going to have plenty, plenty of room. I might have some weed pressure in here uh, later in the year, but uh, I, I'm going to basically just come in here, take the bulb, make a hole. And so the hole, you can see here on my hori hori, there's a ruler, there's a ruler right here. And so the hole is going to sit on the bottom I need a hole that's going to be about four, four and a half inches deep, technically. Um, I'm going to be close to that. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the bone meal here. And this bone meal, this is nothing special. I just picked this up at my local Lowe's. It is bone, ground up. Probably, I don't know, freeze dried. I have no idea. Stick it in there and go. I could probably mix that in some. Same thing, pinch of bone meal, mix it up a little bit, drop that down in there and go. So I think I have 11 of these and that's just all I'm doing for these elephant garlic. Uh, we had a number of elephant garlic this past year. They were, they were good. Mrs. Bowtie used them in cooking. In case you hadn't seen any of my earlier videos, we do live, we're surrounded by uh, two airports, four air bases, or three air bases, and a heliport, as well as a bomb range. So you hear stuff in the background like that occasionally. So I know I'm just off camera down here right now. I'm just doing the exact same thing. I'll do this one over here. So this is the elephant garlic. Now in this bed, I had garlic planted last year. Uh, I planted um, some, in fact, I had it uh, cardboarded over, mulched with cardboard uh, for a while. And then I put the, the uh, zucchini in here and it failed completely. Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, it's been a hit and miss bed. The soil is pretty fluffy though. I hit something pretty solid down there. I don't know what that was. I'm just putting a healthy pinch in there. I'm kind of half hoping that uh, whatever pests are eating these Brussels sprouts, if these things will sprout up before it gets cold, uh, maybe they will help control the pests in this area. 
and we can still get Brussels sprouts. I got a couple more to do and I'll get these done and then we'll move on to the Anchilium red. I'm sorry, Chesnook red. So if you saw the short on uh, me leaving Dichondra as a cover crop, I have little, there are Dichondra leaves in here. Uh, it is, I, I said in the short that it's a detoxifying plant uh, and uh, it Last year, I used it as a um, detoxifier, I, as kind of a cover crop down the other end of this bed, and it did really good. Uh, we are about to have rain. In fact, it's very dark out, and just as I started recording, I'm feeling drops of rain on my head. Uh, might have to put up the hoodie before we're done here. This isn't going to take for but a few minutes, but basically, we're taking these drill these uh, cloves, and I don't know. There's a couple dozen in here. They've been soaking about six hours. Uh, and I'm going to be planting them in this, this bed. Now this bed, um, started out its life this year with sugar snow peas and we grew the sugar snow peas. And of course, when it got hot, they failed, uh, which is what we're, they're expected to do. Um, and so once that happened, uh, I planted in the tomatoes and the beans here. And we got our tomatoes and beans. Uh, the beans are still right here. In fact, you can see the stems right here of the beans, but they are actually at the end of their useful uh, annual life and they are going to seed now. So um, they are fading out. And as the, now that those are fading out, I'm gonna plant in these garlic and hopefully uh, these garlic will take off. This is an Anchilian, uh chestnut red which is a, a hardneck um, garlic. It makes scapes. We had these last year here in Destin, Florida, and uh, they actually did really good. We, had a, we got a bunch of scapes. We still got to figure out what to do with the scapes. We, we did a few things with it, just kind of playing around. Um, so if you've ever done a hardneck garlic, let me know. I'm, I'm very curious your favorite thing to do with it. So... But yeah, this is, uh, again, my record of the things that are going on in my garden. And I'm making this video so I can know what I planted here. My ADD brain can remember what's happening. And I'm marking with my finger. where I put that garlic, go to the next one. Oh, here comes the rain, I'm excited. We just planted some amaryllis bulbs. In fact, if you saw that video, they are just right over there, not uh, 15 feet. So this is the first rain they've got. So I continued planting those garlic in the rain until they were done. And uh, it didn't take me very long, just a few minutes, but uh, here you can see uh, putting in the, the uh, bone meal in, uh, in each of the holes, planting the garlic, trying to get through this as fast as I can because, yeah, it's raining. <laughs> it's starting to rain and starting to come down. I am very excited about that, though. But uh, anyway, so if, you're, uh, if this is your first time uh, coming to my videos. Uh, these really are my personal vlogs of what's going on in the garden uh, with my ADD brain. Uh, I don't remember. I have a hard time journaling, but the videos actually I, my brain finds very easy to do. So uh, uh, these are personal learning processes that I do, but uh, you are so welcome to join along and, and see what we learn as we go. Uh, we'll be harvesting these in the, in the 
uh, early summer most likely if we can get something growing out of this i'm going to have to keep this bed weeded of course and i plan to the dichondra i'm 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 curious if the dichondra will actually um do pretty good in here so um i i think that uh it will be all right around the garlic we'll have to see um these chestnut red uh, yeah i already mentioned they're they're a hard neck they do the scapes um so anyway um if this is your first time here uh, please subscribe for those of you who have subscribed already i thank you so much you're my heroes you are uh, the people that are going to maybe bring this from a hobby to a side hustle for me one day and uh, th thank you so much for all the subscriptions I've, I'm just so grateful for that uh, those of you who have not please do subscribe we're trying to get to, get to our next major milestone and uh, uh, grow the channel um, if you thought this was uh, informational educational inspirational or just entertaining to see me fumbling around the garden in the dirt in the rain uh, please click the thumbs up and uh, share this on your social media as there's a uh, not much better a recommendation i can get than to your friends uh for someone that you get something out of and i hope that you get something out of this uh, be sure to ask any questions or comments uh, down below have you planted your garlic out yet uh, it's coming down this is the middle of december and we are getting to that point where we uh, are uh, getting this kind of stuff out. Um, so anyway, y'all have a blessed day.